I am your brother in Christ. We're back looking at the coronavirus once again. This video will be broken up into three parts. I'll be taking a look at the world overall, what the status is, how is it going, um, what's the main issue with each of the nations that are above 50 um, cases. After that, we'll look in depth at the United States, see what has changed. And then I will be sharing with you a couple of um, revelations that we may have that will help you um, fight off the coronavirus if you are infected. At least we believe that is the case. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. And right away we start off, we're looking at a logarithmic scale of our number of cases worldwide with the exception of China being removed from this. Um, we are still looking at an exponential growth of this. It's still giving us a really nice line um, here. And that is, again, like I said yesterday, pretty scary. We'll see how this develops. But let's go ahead and take a look at the state of the world itself. So taking a look at the world overall, we have a lot of red on our map. We are looking at 95,178 cases. Um, we have 3,254 deaths. Recovered is 51,435 so far I've recovered from this. Um, those death numbers, I don't trust though, because again, that is including mainland China. Um, and they have not been honest with their numbers. In fact, they have been caught fudging them. So let's look at our best example outside of mainland China, which is South Korea. Zoom in there for you. Okay, South Korea, we are looking at 5,621 cases. That is up 435 from yesterday. Um, our death toll is currently sitting at 35. That is three new deaths from yesterday. Um, active cases are still 5,545. Um, total recovered is 41. So flipping over to Italy, going over to Europe, and they have been hammered. <laughs> Today they've definitely been hammered. Um, we are looking at total cases now of 3,089. That is up 587 from yesterday. Um, they are now over 100 dead from this with 107. That is 28 more dead than we saw last time. Um, active cases still remaining is 2,706. Going over to Iran, and they seem to be still struggling with this pretty bad. Um, the last couple of days, we've seen them jump 500, and today is no exception. We're seeing Iran has now 2,922. That is up 586 cases um, that we're seeing. Uh, death toll has gone up 15 with it sitting at 92. Active cases is 2,278. So looking over at Japan, we're seeing 331 cases. That is up 38 from yesterday. Um, so far, the deaths have not changed. They're still sitting at six. Active cases, we're seeing 282. So going over to France. The French. They are sitting at 285 confirmed cases. That is up 73 from yesterday. Um, we are still sitting at four deaths. So they have not changed as far as their deaths go. Thank God. We have 269 active cases there. Jumping over to Germany. We are seeing... 262 cases that is up 59 from yesterday we are not seeing any deaths so far thank god for that 
Um, the active cases are still sitting at 246. Down to Spain. The, the EU is being absolutely hit with this. Um, we're seeing 228 cases. That's up 63 from yesterday. We see, unfortunately, two confirmed deaths so far. Um, that is up one from yesterday. We are seeing um, 224 um, cases still remaining there. We'll go over to the United States, and it has spread like wildfire here. We have 150 four cases so far that is up 30 from yesterday we're seeing 11 dead that is two from yesterday and we have active cases of 134 going over to singapore we're still seeing the same numbers from them um 110 cases i'm wondering if their reporting is behind and we're just not getting the update so far they have no deaths according to that, and no change. Um, going over to Hong Kong. Zoom in there. Hong Kong, we are seeing 103 cases. That's up two from yesterday, and we still have only two deaths so far. Um, I trust their number slightly more than I do China's, of course. Going over to Switzerland. We see 93 um, total cases, that's up 35 from yesterday. Let me zoom out a little bit. That's up 35, and we are seeing no deaths. They still have active cases of 90, so they only have three recovered so far. Um, the UK, over the UK, man, they joined us, and they are here to definitely play. Um, the UK is at... 87 that's gone up 36 from yesterday we have zero confirmed deaths so far they are dealing with active cases of 79 and so far eight have recovered uh, norway has joined us with 59 cases that's up 26 from yesterday um put it above our 50 break point for this video and they still have all their cases active. They don't have anyone recovered from that yet. Going down to Kuwait, which joined us yesterday, but they are sitting stable with their number. Most likely have not updated or given us any new numbers since then. Um, go down to Bahrain. They are sitting at 52 cases. That is up three from yesterday. They were just slightly below our number. They have one recovered and still, de still dealing with 51 cases. Actually, Australia. My goodness. Australia has 50 cases. We are looking at 11 new from yesterday. Um, they have two deaths so far. One up from yesterday. So they had one death before that. Um, they are dealing with 27 active cases. 21 have recovered. Going over to Malaysia, we are seeing them hit 50 today. That is 14 up from their last reported number. So that is a pretty big change there. The last one on our list is Sweden, which just updated. They have 52 um, confirmed cases. That's up 22 from yesterday. They have no deaths. And one recovered, 51 still active cases. So taking a closer look at the United States, we have 154 confirmed cases. That is up 30 from yesterday. Um, we have two new deaths, bringing our death toll to 11. Um, we have 134 active cases. Um, these are, unfortunately, due to a lack of testing equipment, we are only seeing small number and i'm thinking we have a lot more in the united states than what they're actually catching see a large portion of it over here on the west coast and then some on the east coast so far the central united states has 
gone pretty much untouched so far. So looking at the highlights from the United States, we are looking at two new deaths and 30 new cases. We see one death in Washington State, the other one is in California. This is the first death recorded in California from coronavirus. Um, it was an elderly adult with underlying health conditions. We see 12 new cases in Washington State and 9 new cases in New York State. We also see 9 new cases in California. Um, those are the highlights from the United States. Let's go ahead and talk about a couple of ways to hopefully help you get past the coronavirus or at least help you survive it. There are a couple of easy steps that could help you beat coronavirus. Um, I'm not associated with any drug business or, or vitamin business. Um, I'm just trying to help you guys out. I literally get no kickbacks from any of the videos that I am making. I get zero on Patreon. I have zero. Nada. Nothing. So, I have no bias in this. I am poor. <laughs> okay. So, one of the ways that this could definitely help... Um, taking vitamin supplements, primarily um, D and C, seem to have a lot of um, additional benefits as far as boosting your immune system, increasing it even according to some of these studies. I'll put the link to the video that I'm actually quoting from. It's from MedCram. They do an in-depth look at it. But it seems that those two vitamins seem to be pretty critical. Um, I'd recommend taking some supplements. Be careful, you can overdose on them. So don't take any more than the recommended amount of dosage. Um, it doesn't help you if you just decide, oh, I'm going to take a whole bunch of vitamin D all at once now that I'm feeling sick. Um, that doesn't seem to have much effect on it. Um, what really helps is if you start taking the supplement every day. So supplement vitamin D, supplement vitamin C, make sure your immune system is as strong as possible in order to help battle this. And this can, by some studies, look like it can increase your chance by 50%. So really, gives you a good running start even before the virus hits you. And I'd recommend stock and going buying a few of them, stocking up, and then taking them every day. I know I do. I'm just telling you what I do. So in order to help you sail through this easily and to keep you alive and keep your loved ones alive, because that's what I want, is for you guys to have a nice, long, happy life. <laughs> so those seem to be the best ones. I'll put his video in the description below. He goes far deeper into it um i wonder if that's why we are seeing um in singapore we're not seeing any deaths unless they're just not reporting the deaths um that would make sense if vitamin d really does help out um the side effect is we might see this diminish as summer hits um definitely in the northern hemisphere we are going to start getting a lot more vitamin d just by being outside so we might see some of these cases and hopefully, we might even see the coronavirus itself just pitter out. Um, but, that could be wrong. It could be off on that. It's not 100%. We just don't have enough cases, enough study on the coronavirus, how it's affected by vitamin D, to really say um, definitively, this is what you need to beat it. It's the best that we got so far. It won't hurt you. All that's going to do is boost your immune system. You'll be better for it. So thank you guys so much for watching and God be with us.